Oh, hey guys, welcome to Bohoning Soul. Okay, today, um, quick video here on uh, kind of different arrow setups I've got here, right? And this is gonna be about what I can shoot out of certain bows. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick my, uh, my Java Man L card over here. And it's gonna be a discussion whether light arrow, heavy arrow. Now, I'm not gonna get into talking about what, you know, um, what arrow works best for, you know, killing all kinds of game. Cause I mean, you guys know, I don't shoot a lot of stuff, right? I'm gonna have a whopping like, like two big game kills with this thing, a whole bunch of small game, but that doesn't really count. But we're talking about penetration and things like that. Uh, you know, the super important things obviously are straight arrow flight um, and a heavy enough arrow, okay? So on this bow, um, this is a 40, I pull 43 pounds on a good day at 27 inches, right? This is a Java Man L card, 56 inch. You guys have seen this. Um, and this is the bow that I've shot a couple pigs with. Now, the arrow setup that works for me on this particular bow is a rather heavy arrow. This is 633 grains, okay? This is a gold tip traditional 500. It's uh, about 29-ish kind of inches long, uh, 100 grain brass and a 250 grain tip, which is actually a uh, 200 63-ish grain broadhead, actually, because I use an A-standard with an adapter. So this comes in at 633 grains. That's over like 15-something grains per pound. It's really, really heavy for something out of a, you know, 42, 43-pound bow. Why? Well, here's the issue for me. With this particular bow, in my hands, the way I shoot it, this bow shoots high for me, okay? So if I shoot a 600 grain or 600 spine arrow which is this one right here this is a 29 inch actually um gold tip traditional 600 with a 50 grain brass and a 100 grain uh tip this is the arrow actually with a with a 200 grain tip i shoot out of my bear grizzly out of this bow i had to do a 100 grain tip and it's still slightly weak but it only comes in at like 410 grains okay now, I'm not gonna, again, again debate whether 410 is enough to hunt with or you need to go all the step up, all the 600 something. What, what I would love is I would love an arrow that's something in the five to 550 range, right? Just as far as trajectory and everything goes. But with this bow, again, in my hands, it shoots high. And I mean, it shoots like eight inches high, okay? So I can't use this arrow. And I'm gonna show you here on this uh, deer target over here. Got a target right there. We're at 15 yards, you can see from the thingy over here, okay? Um, and I'll show you. I'll show you what the you know the, the different the different impacts are. So I guess you know shoot what makes you comfortable, right? As far as trajectory goes, and shoot what makes you comfortable as far as what you think your maximum distance is going to be. Um, quiet is definitely a big thing. Perfect arrow flight and quick recovery is absolutely a big thing. Um, and after that, you know you just got to find a happy medium. Now I know what you're going to say. Why don't I shoot a longer 500? um that doesn't have uh you know two or 360 some grains up front why don't i back that off do like a longer you know 32 inch uh, 500 or something like that um i don't like arrows that long i just don't i don't like them over like 30 inches okay uh just a personal thing sometimes like the arrow the the, the you know the, the arrows just kind of stick out too far down here um i think you've seen it in my asl videos too where i was shooting those 32 inch 500s hated it okay i'm actually shooting 600s out of there with a bunch of weight up front um they come in at like 630 as well right and that's on a 44 45 pound bow so anyway but i chose this one to give a good example um this bow again will shoot high for me so i need a heavy arrow to not have that um to, to not have it shoot so high that's just it in your hands it might be different and in, in another bow it might be different if it's cut different if the grip is different everybody's different right so anyway um, I'm gonna set up, <clears throat> set you guys up like this here real quick, and then I'll shoot a few with the uh, 630 some grain arrow, and I'll shoot a few with this 410, actually they come in like 408 or something, it's really light, okay? And then I'll show you the difference. Now where I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna aim literally at the bottom of the front leg. I don't know if you can see that, but I will take you down there after you do the shots. I'm aiming at the bottom of the front leg where it hits uh, basically like at the bottom of the heart, okay? But just basically the belly line where the uh, the front um, kind of uh, uh, elbow would be, okay? Or the armpit would be rather, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna set this up a little bit farther back here. Hang on a sec. All right, so this is the 410-ish grain arrow, okay? Super light, here we go.
Okay, so I was aiming at the armpit, basically, and it hit just below the spine, okay? A couple more. Okay, so they're, they're, they're smacking each other. I'm not gonna keep shooting that. I'm gonna take you down there. I'm gonna take you down there and uh, show you here, just so you know what I'm... Okay, so we're walking. That's 15 yards. So I was aiming right here, okay? I put my point on. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Put my point on right here. Look how high this is, okay? So let's just say let's take even let's just take even the top one out of here. These are four inch fletchings, okay? So we've got four inch to here, and then another four inch. Let's just say, say seven and a half, seven and a half to eight inch basically, okay? So aiming here, I'm hitting up here. Now I would have to aim all the way down here somewhere which just doesn't work for me i don't know if that works for you guys if you guys are um if you guys are aimers that way or like uh, gap shooters that way um i can't do that i can't shoot or i can't aim at a dead space way far below something that i want to hit i like a six o'clock hold you know but i like a little bit of a six o'clock hold i don't i don't need it like all the way down here when i'm trying to be like up here okay so I'm gonna now shoot the, yeah, let me, let me switch arrows. All right, so 633 grains. Now the length is the same. The length is the same on this arrow versus that one. So that's different. I mean, the point weights, the point is longer, but I reference off the, I don't reference off the tip here. I'm actually kind of referencing off the, um, the insert, right? So it's the exact same length. So the length, as far as changing my point of, uh, point of impact and, uh, you know, it's effect on, on my, you know, aiming kind of thing is, is, is not, is not a factor in this case. Okay. Aim at, I'm going to aim at the same spot right at the armpit. <sighs> kind of plucked that one, but it just, just a tad low, but it's certainly not eight inches high. One more. Okay, that's exactly in the armpit. We'll do three shots. We'll do one more shot. All right, so they're all touching. Well, the two are touching. Okay, so without breaking camera contact here, just to kind of prove the point. So, so there you go, right there. Uh, turn the camera here. Okay. Oh, I'm in the shadows. How about this? Can we see that? Yes, we can right there. So I got the two right here and this is the one I plucked down here. Okay. So this discard this one, that was a bad shot. I just didn't really feel like, uh, retaking the video, but as you can see, right. Aiming here, I hit here. Okay. Versus aiming here and hitting here. I mean, that's a, that's eight inches right there. Okay. That's a the distance right there. It's about eight inches. I mean, I was aiming kind of here. So, you know, like that. Okay. So what do we learn from this? Hold on a sec. We'll wrap up. All right. So <laughs> what, what, what did we learn from this? Well, I don't know. Uh, we learned that basically you need to shoot your bow and you need to shoot a setup that is comfortable for you. And if it's a longer arrow and you need the longer arrow for, uh, can remember the longer the arrow and if you, if you gap off of it or even just kind of reference it, the longer the arrow, the shorter that gap is going to be at your target back there. There we go. There's the target. Okay. The shorter the arrow, the more the gap is going to be. Okay. Um, I don't like longer arrows. I don't like them past 30, 30 and a half inch. That's just me. Um, the, the overall package of how you shoot this bow and what confidence you have in whatever you, whatever bow you're shooting has to be, 
uh, has to be factored in, right? Confidence is a huge factor. If you have confidence in your equipment and what you're gonna shoot and how you're gonna shoot it, well, then the rest will come. Of course, you have to have a well-tuned arrow. The thing has to fly straight because if it's not flying straight, it's not gonna, you're gonna lose penetration. You're gonna, it's gonna kick all over the place. Uh, it's gonna affect your accuracy, right? So this is all assuming tuned or very, very close to being like damn near like perfectly tuned, okay? But there's multiple arrow setups you can use. This was an extreme example, 410 grains versus 630 grains. That's like 240 some grains difference between the two. Okay, that's huge, huge difference. But depends on the type of hunting you're gonna do too. Um, this is 15 yards. Uh, I think, I believe the point on exactly with this bow is like 18 yards, I think is what it is. Um, but it's, you know, at that speed, uh, at, that, at that distance, the speed I'm happy with, I'm okay with it. Um, but again, I've only shot two animals with this thing haven't shot a deer with it so i don't know about reaction time i don't know that you're going to beat a reaction time even if this was like twice as fast as it is okay um but all i know is i have confidence you know 15 18 yards uh this last pig i shot was about 18 yards maybe 20 at the at the, at the high end but i actually had to think about like huh that's kind of the edge on the edge of my uh, go no go limit and that, that mental kind of like yep or no um it wasn't beyond that but i had to kind of think about it a little bit but either way um it, it hit to the right Okay, but that was me. But as far as up and down and all that stuff, it, it hit exactly exactly where I wanted. If it was a, a, a much lighter arrow, and I really can't go a whole lot lighter with this bow in my hands and have it not hit high, okay? So if it was a much, much lighter arrow, like this 400, or even, even like I've, I've tried like 500 grains out of this, um, it shoots high enough that I have to do a mental calculation of how much lower to aim, and I don't wanna be thinking about that when I'm trying to just concentrate on, on picking a spot and, and hitting what I want to hit. Okay, I just one more distraction that I, one more cap mental calculation that I don't want to make. If you're a dedicated aimer and you can do, you know, X many inches at X many yards, it's fantastic, right? Good for you. For me, I can't do that. And it's just a distraction for me, so I don't do it. So anyway, that's it, okay? Whatever bow you got. Good flying arrow, confidence in your equipment, like the trajectory, and if everything else is good, just go with it, okay? All right, that's it. That's all I got to say. Thanks, guys. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let me know your thoughts. I know this will be a lot of argument back and forth, perhaps, maybe, between light, heavy, that kind of stuff, thing. But uh, I do want to hear what you have to say and then your setup. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.